Hi, I'm Dan Elder from Kidasa Software, here to talk about date headings in Milestones Professional. To get started, let's click on the date headings on the top of the schedule, and it should open up the Selection tab where you can see all of the date heading options. You can have up to four date headings on the top of your schedule, and you can also place these at the bottom of your schedule if you click Show at Bottom. Also, you can right-click on any row inside a column cell and attach a date heading to that row by choosing Attach Date Heading. You can either use your current date headings, which would add all of the date headings that are on the top of your schedule, or you can pick a date heading. So I could add a yearly date heading to this row, press OK, and then that date heading gets added. As for the types of date headings, we've got all sorts of yearly, fiscal yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, and even minutely date headings to choose from. You can even add a custom date heading if you'd like to. Near the bottom of the drop-down, you'll see custom heading types 1 through 4. I'm going to choose custom heading type 1, and then I'm going to choose edit custom headings. And you can see we've got the uh, Type 1 through Type 4 tabs here. I'm just going to stay on this Type 1 tab. And I'll just say Phase 1 is going to end on the end of January 2020. And I'll press OK. And then you can see it added that custom date heading right there based on the date that I chose. You can also do a background color. So if I add Phase 2, I'm in that the end of November. You can also choose a background color. So I'm going to make these some nice greens and press OK. And you can see you've got phase one and then phase two. And that's with setting this to a custom heading type and then going to edit custom headings. Another thing you can do with date headings is expand a certain time frame on your schedule so that it is larger than other time frames. So for instance, in this schedule, if I want to expand the current year to be larger than the past years or the future years, I can do that with logarithmic date headings. In the View tab, under Chart Type, I can go to Gantt Logarithmic Setup. And here you can either choose months by clicking on the months individually, or you can choose entire years by clicking on the little year button right next to the months checkboxes. If I want to expand the current year of 2021 on this schedule, I can just click on the 2021 button here, and it's going to expand it by a factor of three times since I have three times selected right here. But you can do anywhere from two times to eight times larger. So 2021 is going to be three times larger than all the other years. So I will press OK. And then you can see that current year now expands, all the tasks are in the correct place, and all the other years are shrunk down. The last thing I can mention is how to make different colors for different parts of the date heading. You can do this using curtains. If you go to the Format tab on this schedule, you'll see if I click on the Curtains button, which is Shade by Date Range, you can see I've got a few curtains. So I've got the past years right here, and then the future years right here, and they're going to be that color. And currently I'm showing the curtains in the schedule area and the date heading. So these curtains are showing all the way down uh, in both sections. And then for this curtain, I actually have an option. If I edit that curtain, there's a checkbox down here, only show this curtain in date headings. So that's how the current year just has that color for the background, and the past years and future years have that color for the background as well as the schedule background. And that's pretty much all I know about date headings. If you have any questions, you can email us at support at kidasa.com, and be sure to visit our website at kidasa.com, and I hope you have a nice day.